Look at the stash. My attention was needed elsewhere. Oh, was it really? That's another word for you. He was having a wank in one of the rooms upstairs, I bet. Needs to clean the sheets, you know what I'm saying? If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. He's going back to wank again. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. What? Women can't start pillow fights, you f***ing sexist. Beg for your life, you That's a f***ing peephole if I've ever seen one. I told you, he's back there having a wank, 100%. Oh my god. You're just gonna hear the moaning from the headset. Oh, sounds like I'm doing something else in here. What is going on YouTube universe? This is Zira, and today, ladies and gentlemen, not only do we begin a brand new adventure together, but we close the final chapter of Season 1 within the Dark Pictures Anthology. We managed to get through the mundane Man of Medan, we lived through Little Hope, we rose from the ashes with House of Ashes, and we even managed to get through the Quarry and Until Dawn, both within the Dark Pictures Supermassive Universe. And we're rounding things out today with one that I think has the potential to be the best of the Dark Pictures games to date, The Devil in Me. This one directly derives from history and follows the story of one of the most notorious serial killers in American history. And I'm really keen to dive into this because of the premise of the story and the location, because we're going to be in a hotel that is fixed with death traps and every twist and turn imaginable that you could probably foresee in a Saw film is exactly how this is going to play out. And if you guys know me, you know that's kind of my thing. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I've taken up more of your time than I probably should have with this intro. Sit back, relax, do whatever you have to do to get comfortable. Hey, if you need to take your pants off, this could be a pants-free zone. Let it all hang loose. And let's get the first episode of The Devil in Me underway. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Jose, 8-7. Well, let's get my, my movie man voice on. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Others... lead to being a fucking rat. No, just kidding. Death. That rat probably had it coming. The wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. The Chicago News, World's Columbian Exposition, continues to draw huge crowds. First priority. Marie, Whatever the World's Fair Hotel, most. Chicago, 1893. If you don't mind. You are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage. I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> snake oil? Get your snake oil. I think we've arrived. Fuck, you can tell it's back in the 1800s when snake oil is being openly advertised as a thing. Mm, fancy. Isn't this grand? Yeah, and it's As fancy. Advertised. Very nice. Very fancy. Little do they know they're going to check in, but they won't check, check out. In. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ring the bell. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure there was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Give it a little ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Fucking... That's what you need to do to the notification bell, alright? Try again. Fucking hit the like button like these guys about to do. Like fucking... Fucking ding-ding-ding-ding-ding-ding-ding. Oh! Hello, foreshadowing. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. I'm going to give it one star on Yelp. Ooh, use the shoes. I think we're going to go with excited. Let's go to the fair later today. Let's not wait till tomorrow morning. 
Let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. Good on you, Marie. Oh. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait. Look at the stash. My attention was needed elsewhere. Oh, was it really? That's another word for you. He was having a wank in one of the rooms upstairs, I bet. I promise from here on out it will be nothing. Needs to clean the sheets, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Who's going to sign the book? Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Oh my god. Perhaps my wife would like to. Yes. Today I'm sorry. I don't know how honeymoon. to pick up a pen. Congratulations. No, I'm just joking. I don't know how to pick up a pen. I'm not a case, fucking idiot. An upgrade is in order. World's Fair a Hotel, hey? It is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Okay, Sherlock. Amy Howard Holmes. Gee, Triple H, huh? You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. Pervert. I'm a man of many interests. Yeah, I bet you are. Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Yeah, not like they're ever going to see that bill. He was happy to give him a free fucking room upgrade because Thank they you, ain't Mr. leaving Holmes. this bitch. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Can we collect anything? Do we have free reign? Because I believe this game employs an inventory kind of uh, mechanic, which is new to the franchise. Now, what did I forget to bring? We have some powder, or we've got what looks like maybe some bubble bath or some shampoo or some shit. I reckon we go with the bubbles. A little bit of the bubbly. Some bath milk. Bearings update when the story branches in important ways, and it was added to our inventory, if you just saw that. Oh. Pardon me, miss. Well, you're excused. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? They actually look pretty fucking ugly. Up they go. To their demise. Wonder what's in here. The Rathlin Suite. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheel. Can't they read? Forbidden rooms. It says Previte on the door. Looking for excitement, perhaps. That's French for stay the fuck out. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? 
If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel, that's I a body under that fucking sheet for sure, right? Wait, what's that? That has to be a body. <gasps> oh! Don't move. You, you, right there. Shut the fuck up. Shh. Got to press in time with the heartbeat. We can do this. This mechanic fucked me in Man of Medan. Nobody in here, Mr. Holmes. Get out of here, you bastard. Oh, thank fuck. That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. You're not going to check what's under that sheet? I think it's prudent that you check what's under that fucking sheet. Holmes is like, what the fuck are you guys doing up here? Let's check out this honeymoon Welcome suite, hey? Newlyweds to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. He's going back to wank again. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. <laughs> it is Look, pretty lush. This place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. What? Women can't start hey, pillow fights, I you fucking sexist oh bastard. You asked for it. You fucking asked for this, mate. I can cop that, you bastard. <laughs> should I be frightened? If you're smart. You, you should be. You should fear for your life, mate. <laughs> Beg for your life, you bastard. Mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Yeah. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. Mm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not Take me on this bed, Jeff. I have a gift for you. Consummate our marriage. Close your eyes. Face oh. the mirror. Aren't if he pulls his dick out, I'm not going to be impressed. If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. Right in the kisser. Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Victory is mine. Okay, so I'll do we calm down? Bath now. That's a fucking peephole if I've ever seen one. I told you, he's back there having a wank, 100%. Oh my god. Oh. You're just going to hear the moaning from the headset? Oh, sounds like I'm doing something else in here. It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? Let's get this bitch open. Open sesame! Open Cecil! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. Yeah, it's French for down and dirty, you know what I'm saying? I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. 
Now, you don't be getting up to mischief in there, Marie. Could be kids watching. I want to have a look everywhere I can. Because if this franchise has proven anything to me, it's that uh, exploration is key. With all the collectibles we can find, all of the, you know, premonitions to be had, and especially now with inventories available, we don't know what we can find that might come in handy down the track. Um... I pressed open, and he just fro Better now not. he wants to open it. He froze in fear temporarily. He didn't know what the fuck to do. Hmm. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Yeah, it was. Looks like the corridors are changing. What? Oh! Ah! We could have lost Jeff already? Good thing I got that trigger finger Marie! fucking on ready, you know what I'm saying? And it's a good thing I got that bath milk. Because now we can get all extra milky and soapy. Call me the Dairy Queen. Put it in there, Marie. Oh, baby. We're gonna get all sudsy in the tubsy. Oh, what the fuck? Was that the curator in the mirror? Oh, hi, Mark. Because we know the curator has a habit of popping up in these games as, like, little Easter eggs. I'm pretty sure that was him. Having a cheeky per- There's all these perverts up in this fucking hotel. Must be a wank convention or something in Chicago. Oh, that is 100% Mr. Holmes. That is, is not going to be you? your husband. That That's not going to be darling. Jeff? It's not Jeff. Oh, are we playing another game? I feel like we need to investigate. If we relax while there's a pervert in the room, he can either come oh, around the corner and, and drop a load in the in the fucking bath, or he's gonna drown us, or... Sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> yep, there he oh. is. Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's the no! razor. Oh fuck! Get away from me! But I'm not finished yet. I said get. Don't fight it. Uh oh fuck! Will only hurt more if you do. He just ruined a perfectly good bath too. Smash it over his fucking head. Yes. You're only prolonging the inevitable. You. What have you done? Calm hey, he's killed your wife. I've seen your wife has had an accident. You gonna go help her, Jeff? You gonna knock this guy Any out? Problem, sir. Kick him in the dick. Or run. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh no. I've seen the boy in the striped pajamas. I know what's about to go down here. He's just ran into a fucking gas chamber. Oh, and we're controlling Marie who's bleeding out with a slit throat. Fuck. Can we can we see Titty or No no side boot? Oh, they're gonna see each other through the mirror. Your 
were wasting your last chance to tell him that you loved him. <laughs> well. Yep, she's dead. Fuck. <coughs> and he's dead too. <coughs> I told you. They're gonna check in, but they ain't checking out. What a way to open up the game. Fuck. Is he putting her ring in the fucking jewelry cabinet? A place for everything. He did. Everything. Which tells me that all the other rings are from people that wow. he's killed as well. Look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so. Oh, I mother would die. The man, do you work here? No, oh, he works here, all right. He works Hello. it here too. Welcome. To the World's Fair Hotel. Fuck, I'm ready for this. Oh, here we go. I love this song so much, and we're about to see the curator again. Oh, 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 oh death. Won't you spare me over to another year? Enter the curator. Oh, you beautiful man. This song sets the tone perfectly. And might just get me demonetized. Woo! Hello, good sir. You dropped your feather. Oh. You're here. I am here. Have you been waiting long? Not really. Welcome back. Thank you. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Thank you, sir. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. Oh, fuck you. That was a playthrough I did off camera to kill everyone to get the achievement, okay? It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create, and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art okay. can elicit all sorts of reactions, delight, Inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. <gasps> he they said it. Glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. Oh, I know. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They for the ferryman. Them in the mouth <laughs> see? Recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. Collectibles. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Nice. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. We're gonna go out of our way to find every fucking obble we can. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket of Hansen. And, uh, 
And yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography. I think we're about to make the cast. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've done a key grip and lighting test for years. Fliss! See your problem. For Man and Medan. Light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz. UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The Charlie Lonitz. was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard. I object. Enough. <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. It's Markiplier. I understand. <laughs> it looks like Markiplier. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Hello, Which everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome to my fucking courtroom. Else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. Is this like a crime series? America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city. The number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer and possibly the worst. Fucking hell. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? Well, casting Markiplier as the judge was an interesting call. To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold shit. She was going to say shit. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you? Grantham Dumet. Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead. <laughs> they're definitely an eclectic dead. mix. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's Our five it. heroes. Will they survive? Their fate is in my hands. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. I am going to strive right, to keep them all alive. alive. I started saying a love. Sorry. I can't English sometimes, I'm sorry. Are you? I mean, this 
Oh. Ring light that makes glow glowing. We leave them behind it. Right. You're right. This is gonna be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? I'm excited oh, for adventure. Huzzah! Woohoo! Woo! This is gonna be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So? Yeah, Charlie. Charlie, what do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. Yeah. Probably and kills like H.H. H. Holmes does as well, the bastard. Just trust me. They don't know what they're getting themselves into. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. How convenient. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may this share part information of the that Did we know about my this? business or lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. They're Can't have you calling for help in my murder fucking all castle, you know what I'm saying? Must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Please deposit your the phone so you cannot call the police. It. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. That or he's hoping to find nudes on their phones. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that into Which people. lives up to the H.H. Holmes kind of, you know, stigma, considering he was a pervert. I mean, we know he was a recluse who loved wanking in his hotel. He proved it. We saw it. Dude, to Sir Rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy gonna help? Oh, mm. Sorry about doing a little bit of lifting. Mm. No, really. She's already getting I on my nerves, this bitch. We might have Thanks, to do a playthrough no. where we just kill her off. What it, jackass? Until Dawn had Emily, this game has this bitch. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Oh, we're playing as Charlie at Lake Michigan. Fog. There, come on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. But the visuals will be great. We can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. I'm as fit as a Be butcher's careful, dog, guys. eyes. Nice knowing you. Come on. Is that racist? Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. Which, ladies and gentlemen, will go down in tomorrow's episode, because for now, this is where we're going to wrap things up. We got a nice little introduction to our main characters. We saw what we can kind of expect from the hotel in the way of the rooms shifting and gas chambers, but... I have a feeling it's going to really ramp up moving forward and I am so keen to continue this adventure. If you guys are keen to see more and you enjoyed the first episode, do myself a favour, hit that like button down below. Be sure to check out the playlist I'll link down below as well for the other Dark Picture Anthology games that I have played. And as I said at the top of the video, hit that notification bell so whenever I upload, you get that little ring-a-ding-ding -ding to let you know something's gone down. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time. Hit subscribe, you bastard.